What's up, Devils? Welcome back to the video. I'm Chris, and Questable is coming up, so be prepared for that. We have some crazy stuff we're going to be seeing throughout the week. Now, pressing stuff. We got two segments coming in. News without Will and What the Science. Welcome to news. News updates on Will's show. Today we have some great up... Okay, great. One second. Sorry, guys. No way! No way! Robux are in sale! They're literally 75% off. All you need to do is enter your social security number and your credit card number. I I have to go, Carson. I'm sorry, I gotta just go. You can find someone else like you did last time. It's perfect. Let's, I'm just gonna go. Sorry. Sir, sir. Would you like to film for the bill this week? Yes. Uh, you won't have time to do the script, though. Okay. Uh, I'm Jake Soder, and this is for this week's weekly announcements. Man makes millions at a hot dog stand by dipping the buns in bath water before selling them. Don't forget to sign up for DoorDash from this man who personally delivers every mini corn dog in his mouth to you like a mama bird to a baby bird. All right, now for the forecast this week. Make sure to watch out for rain. We got lots of it coming this week. And make sure to watch out for hail. You're gonna get a lot of that. Lots of it. All right, thank you so much. You're pretty well. Well, thank you again. Have a great day, thank you, Jake. <clears throat> Bad news, guys. Robux did not turn out. There not, there's now some spyware from an unspecified country on my computer, so I'm kind of screwed. But, you know, I think I'll be able to figure it out. I won't fall for that shame. Anyway, thanks for joining us on news. News updates on Will's channel. Hi. Will's show. Sorry. Well, I'm so sorry to hear about the Robux situation. It happens to the best of us. But it's not happening to anybody because the best of us are doing questable right now, doing weird challenges, eating sticks of butter. I don't know what you guys do, but I'm really ready to see the video afterwards. It's going to be some crazy stuff. Spirit Assembly Fridays when we'll be uh, presenting them, their awards, their buffs and stuffs, as told to me. Don't know what that is, but good for them. And today is the first round of the preliminary basketball for the girls in the state tournament. Tomorrow will be the boys, and it'll go back to girls, and Friday, it'll be back to the boys. 7.30 on Wednesday in the auditorium will be the BYU Symphonic Band and the SHS Wind Symphony Concert within the auditorium. FFA Booster Club meeting in the cafeteria at 6.30 on Thursday, and that is all the pressing news for you today. Hello everybody and welcome back to What the Science. Today we have a very special episode for you today. And yes, I know Valentine's Day was last week, but you know, whatever. We already planned for this and it's close enough. So um, we have our special guest today, Mr. Snell. He is our psychology teacher. So yeah. Thanks uh, for having me. Yes, so Mr. Snell, how do you think someone falls in love? Um, well, I think it depends if you're talking about love or attraction. I think attraction has a specific thing to it where people are attracted to spe specific things. I think love ultimately is a choice. People choose to put time into something, which then creates an opportunity for there to have a love or they choose not to and it just eventually goes away. So with the difference between love and attraction, how would you say someone gets attracted to someone else? Um, that's more chemical, right? Everybody has specific likes and dislikes. You know, I've, I'm married to a 6'4 beautiful woman who's amazing, um, but I'm sure there are lots of people who would not want to be involved with someone who's taller than them. Well, uh, when was the first time that you fell in love and how did it happen? Oh. I don't know. That's that's a difficult question. I'm sure it was grade school, junior high. So, but for now, it's just my wife, which I'm happy to have. See, but now, do you have any special tips to how to get someone, for how to get someone to fall in love with you? Time. You have to be willing to give up your time for their time, and show them that you want to be part of it. And if they reciprocate, then you're probably in a good spot. If they don't, then. You probably gotta find somebody else. Now, let's say 
that you really like this one person, but they think you're awful. What do you do? Move on. So the, if, if it's not going to be a mutual thing, then it's too hard for one side. It'll be easier just to move on and something else will eventually pop. You know, you're a psychology teacher, so what would you say, well, would you recommend that we take a psychology class to kind of understand this attraction more? Yeah, I love my classes with, with psychology. The classes are typically pretty full. It's definitely something that I, I hope students find entertaining. Uh, we talk about everything involving students and their interactions with others and themselves. So it's it's a good opportunity for them to come into class and, and figure out who they are and what they like. Well, that sounds very interesting. I've actually been wanting to take a psychology class, but haven't been able to fit in my schedule yet. But hopefully I can take it next year. So thank you so much for having for coming. It was great to have you on our show this week. We'll see you next time on What the Science. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching that one. Be sure to comment below your favorite farm animal. A shout out to Steven the Memer, who last week posted his favorite color like a good subscriber. We asked him to comment. You know what we commented? Purple. Got three whole likes, everybody. That's a new record. So let's see if we can top that off. Five likes for the best farm animal. Maybe put a little argument below that so people know why it's the best animal. Anyways, thank you so much for watching The Ville this week, and we will see you next time.